Let's do a comic book haul. These are comic books that I picked up from a local seller. Still on eBay, so I don't have to pay shipping. And the taxes on it weren't that much. The total cost came out to around $161. Okay. Comics crack. <laughs> right? Total came out to $161. I'm going to show you what they are. We're going to read at least one story from these. Okay. <clears throat> I got to bring it up. I got to tell you which one, how much each one cost individually. Okay, let's do it in the order. Actually, that's okay. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven comic books. Okay. This one. It cost $34. Now, I'm not including the tax, so you can add like, you know, dollar a pop for tax. No shipping, right? So this one cost, and these are all Canadian prices, right? So multiply by 0.77 to get the U.S. price on it, right? This one from 1951 cost $34, graded at very good fine, okay? Joe Kubert did most of the work here. There's one page by Wally Wood. Jesse James Gangs, Great Prison Break. This is Jesse James number five. Okay. Great painted cover. I flipped through all of these. I wouldn't pick them up yesterday and flip through them. Just to make sure they were they were uh, what the seller graded them as and they were right 1951 golden age comic beautiful nice uh, actually nice grade uh, very good fine mid-grade pretty pretty nice pretty nice pretty nice right okay very happy with this very happy with this. Nineteen fifty one all I got, yeah. This one, next one. Looking good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy. There was a few I was bidding on. I was very happy to get these. Here's a book from nineteen fifty five. It cost twenty six eighty nine. Okay. George Evans cover EC Comics Two Fisted Tales number 40. We're gonna read one of the stories in this. We're gonna read one of the stories in this. Oh, graded at the what was the grade at? Sorry, I gotta look at the grade. What was the grade? Uh, good, very good. I would have graded this a little bit higher, maybe, but uh, good, very good. No, we'll say good, very good. No, I haven't seen the new Oppenheimer movie. Uh, see Cashew. Looking forward to it, though. Two Fisted Tales, number 40. EC Comics, 1955. Aeronautical, right? But we're going to read one of the stories in here. I flipped through it last night. I was like, oh, snap. It's the last of the Mohicans. There's a last of the Mohicans story in this, right? And I, last of the Mohicans, the movie... I actually is one of my favorite movies I really like last of the Mohicans okay so I wouldn't mind uh, reading that one okay John it's banned in Japan but that's uh, because they already seen it two times yeah indeed indeed Cheryl my son and two buddies are planning to do uh, bar Benheim Heimer barbenheimer i don't know what that means <laughs> it's not released yet is it i don't know i think it's released not released where we see our movies out there 
<laughs> Where I see my movies. Cheryl watching Oppenheimer, then Barbie. Ha <laughs> ha, back to back. Hilarious, hilarious. Barb Barbenheimer. Ha ha ha. 21st. It's released on 21st. Cool. So this is not bad. 26 something is pretty good price for this. Okay, pretty good price for this. This next book is from 1969. The Incredible Hulk, number 112, graded at very good plus. Paid 950 Canadian for it. I'm a Barbie bomb in the nuclear world. Hilarious. Okay. Great, very good plus. 950, great price. Great price. The guy had a whole bunch of Incredible Hulk for sale. They were actually going for a good price, but, uh, uh, you know, I couldn't bid on everything. All right. The boot battles on. Very nice. Very happy about this. I'm a Bobby Bob in the nuclear world. So fantastic. And the rest of it. <laughs> Crazy. This next one. This next one. Is from 1952. Graded very good. Costs 650. It's Real Clue Crime Stories. Volume 7. Number 3. Okay. This was... Uh, these ones aren't going for that much. <laughs> Over there, the fruit battles on. This one, I like my crime, crime stories and stuff. So it's a nice cover. I like the cover, and surprisingly, this series doesn't. Uh, it's not very expensive. This is a low grade, of course, right? Lower grade, but happy to get it. The dancing girl. You, you've been working so hard on your secret government projects, John. This is the perfect way for you to relax. Police facts. Fun. <coughs> Crack. Take a look at this. Death sure is relaxing. <laughs> yeah. This is from 1992. Tundra Comics. Tundra put out some amazing stuff, including The Crow, right? Crow and tons of independent stuff, right? Tundra Comics biopic show graded very. It's not biopic show. It's Doghead by Al Columbia, 1992. Graded very good. Uh, very fine near mint first edition first print paid 1150 for it this is a great price it's prestige format it's a really good price okay i try to get my hands on uh, biopic uh, the other stuff he did uh, th they were going too high still reasonable what they were going for but they were still too high right i flipped through this is unread so we're not going to crack this open because it's uh I don't want to damage it, right? So, dog head. And it's horror, beauty. I haven't even seen that one. I didn't know about it either. I didn't know about it either, right? Al Columbia, dog head. And he was known as a horror horror stuff he's a graphic novel worked in film al columbia i don't know too much about him i don't crack you'll know way more about this guy the creator of this uh the artist but this is before the other series he put out which is the comics are fetching crazy price anything by tundra is well worth getting yeah 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 the publisher a tundra amazing amazing right uh but biopic show al columbia Put out biopic show and uh, those ones fetch a fair price okay this one too i just lucked out no one else bid on it right but tundra and tundra cracked tundra went under didn't they or did they get bought out like tundra had i haven't 
Tundra was in the 90s. Did he continue to publish into the 2000s? Uh, I have some Tundra stuff. Uh, they put out Madman stuff too. Super cool, super cool, right? Uh, but Tundra was one of the most amazing independent publishers, right? Because they put out really top quality stuff, right? Uh, crack, they went under. Kevin Eastman from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bought, bought them. So they bought, uh, he, Kevin Eastman bought them, eh? Let's see, here's the kicker. Todd McFarlane bought um, Eclipse, right? Kevin Eastman bought Tundra, but they, they, how come they're not re-releasing some of the older stuff? I guess it's copyright. They could only publish it once. It was oh, it was his company. He did buy it out. It was his. I didn't realize Kevin Eastman Tundra was Kevin Eastman's company. Serious? And it went under. I guess different corporation. Uh, the books, you know, were all in the rest. So fold it. Ah, I didn't know that. Kevin Eastman has, as far as I know, multi multi millionaire, right? Huge. He, they should revive some of the stuff man. they should revive some of the stuff uh, crack rights issues with creators I imagine that would be why they can't reprint yeah they should get the rights again they should just get okay one time we can do one time print put it out that's my take anyway <laughs> I'm, 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 I love comic books so Mr. Hezekiah Ninja Turtles is in the comics are far more violent than the cartoon ones yeah in the initial ones anyway and then they they actually with Kevin Eastman they realized they couldn't mass market such a violent story uh, for ma for the masses for kids so they toned down the violence right so they could do mass marketing on it uh, good idea or bad idea mm, good idea uh, in terms of marketing uh, company funds I wish they put out a, a crack you, you'll know this I guess or anyone else that follows Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I don't I don't um, even though I have some of their older stuff they should put out an adult version where mature readers and they go back to the roots right original and then that crack oh I'm gonna allow that the, 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 the Automod zapped it for some reason. I guess they didn't like scumbag, but I'm going to read this. The, 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 the crack. The big draw with those companies was that the creators retain all the rights to their books, unlike the scumbags of the other companies. Yeah. <laughs> Philly boy, nine 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 nine. Off topic. Do you live stream anywhere else? I follow your Rumble and Odyssey channels, but I've only seen videos here. Yeah, 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 for sure. We live stream here, we live stream from the map, we live stream when the map stuff happens, we live stream when we do comic book readings, we live stream on my bookcase, uh, we live stream in the kitchen, we live stream one, two, three, four, five, six. oh, there's a bird here, VS fucking wanted to go get it, get out of here, bird, uh, six, six, seven different places, six, seven different places. Mr. Hizagaya, good idea for money, but I hate when people sanitize things for my viewing. Yeah, that's why I think they should have a mature line, right? Jalen, Ninja Turtles is low key kind of scary. Reptiles that eat pizza and live underground. Oh, oh, never even thought about that, Jalen. You're going down a rabbit hole, dark, dark, dark. Elder God, you got the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh, snap. I wish I bought it. I could have bought it for close to a thousand, and I didn't. Now, the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a good copy. It's fetching 20, 30,000 or something, right? Plutorino, how are you doing? Hey, chat. Uh, hey, Chicho, how are we? We celebrating today got a new job and we start Monday awesome congrats congrats salutations salutations on a new job Via was about to get himself a new birdie Philly boy oh like do you live stream on any other stream site ah, oh sorry 
uh, I'm gonna this summer I'm gonna live stream get onto live streaming on rumble and kick as well I just have to go through setting it up I haven't yet uh, Philly boy uh, hopefully by August we see we see oh Elagar, you bought a 1984 snap crack my first issue is fourth printing of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cool fourth printing still fetches a fair bit of, fair bit of money it's low grade elder god even low grade it's a sweet grade sweet book to have maxi max 98 salutations welcome to our live stream first time chat first time on your stream and i'm wondering if you grow any mary jane plants sorry if it's not a reasonable it is a reasonable question In cannabis in Canada we can grow four I'm growing four salute to cannabis culture gang here's the other book here's the other book this book is from 1952 Ziff Davis comics graded a very good fine uh, cost 23 38 Canadian okay romantic marriage number 13 I love my romance books love my romance books right you thought it was that it wasn't sure yeah thank you very much for the follow Mac uh, Max Maxi Mox 98 romantic marriage number 13 my desperate decision my desperate decision love or the limelight I gambled for happiness model wife my husband's honor candidate for love <laughs> someone sent us some love comics I forget who it was but we got to read some of that right we got to read some of that it's I'll crack to crack. I wasn't a collector, so so such back then. Just a young comic reader. Awesome. Great buy. Plutorino. If we uh talk in comics, I just got the final volume of this Captain America volume thing I have. It is most maybe all Captain America comics published in like this anthology. It can't be all of them. The uh, Captain America comics is you're into the thousands i'm guessing it'd be so much right crack best way to get into it. yeah best way to get into comics is be an aficionado reader lover a face in the back is there a face in the back mm. is there a face in the back Lover Lime and Light, haha. -ha. The Eddie G, how are you doing, Chicho? It is great to see you, brother. Great to see you as well, Eddie G. The last comic in this hall. The last comic in this hall. This comic ended up costing thirty-one fifty-six from nineteen forty-nine. Graded at good minus. Good minus because it's got major spot. Um, spine split in the bottom actually and the cover is only hanging on one staple barely okay so graded very uh graded a good minus uh cost 3156 1952 crime comic fox comics famous crimes number 12 and i love the crime comics thank you eddie g for the twitch prime sub appreciate it plutonia it's very it's every comic from 1964 to 2006 over 515 complete issues including all annuals snap <laughs> my that's a lot of comics that's the last volume you got nice halt you dirty 
thieves. Make one more move and the next shot will be for keeps. Jury. It's the law. We haven't a chance of making out making our getaway now. Don't don't shoot. We give up. We give up. He says. Bang. Shoots the ground. from police files. A lot of propaganda in this. A lot of propaganda in this. Right? A lot of propaganda. That's a great, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, volumes to have. Every issue of Captain America from 1964 to 2006. So from Captain America 100 all the way up to the multiple series that were published. 15 years to get them all. 15 years to get them all to Pluturno. Nice. Man, that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Fat pizza. Chicho, what uh, fruit and uh, spices would you like to have in a mead? Um, experimenting for the moment, trying to find a perfect one. Sorry if I'm a bit off. No, you're not off topic. Well, you're off topic. Comic books. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mulberry. I've had, I'm pretty sure I've had mulberry spirit liqueurs, but I don't know what a mulberry mead would taste like. Like mulberry is so unique, but difficult to get your hands on a lot of mulberries to be able to make mead or any type of alcohol. So mulberry, really. And what else? Peaches. Peaches are amazing. Nice comic book haul again. We went for volume in the last one, reading comics. These ones, investment comics and reading comics, of course, right? But uh, the more high end comics. Okay. And we got an EC book in there. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> nice. Great little haul. Great little haul. Lousy at being criminals, indeed. Indeed. Adra mass greetings. <laughs> yes, you too, Mr. Sky says you have more guns. <laughs> Faith Hill, I remember when you were buying lots of low graded golden age for five ish bucks a book. Man, those deals are hard to find. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Faith Hill. What I did was basically uh, looked at the market and went, okay, what's a really amazing deal, right? And still amazing quality comics that people aren't chasing, right? A lot of those books that I bought, man, they're hard to get now. Some of the books that I looked at, there's books that I bought like for $2, right? Now, in that same grade, they're selling for like, you'd be lucky to get your hands on them for like $30, right? So, because the supply is running out. Like, as time progresses, the supply, it's a limited quantity of things, right? The supply is going to run out. With comic books, I used to buy some from some pretty big sellers, right? And they blew through all their collect, all the warehouse they blew through their comics and they're not selling anymore like the, and towards the end of what they were selling their prices were kicking up they weren't doing one dollar auctions anymore they were doing buy it now buy it now buy it now and the basically all the large sellers that i used to buy from uh, they've reduced the number of comics they're selling they've kicked up the price on them uh, and the selection is uh, is less I'll, and if you're going for some of the Older comics, hard to get your hands on them. Some of them, anyway. Ah, crack! Nice, nice haul. Really, I love this. <laughs> 